I'm Chris. This is the Warp Tool. It allows you to warp sprite nodes inside of SpriteKit. When the app first loads, it loads a default image, and you can move this around straight away by clicking on the control points. Or you can go ahead and load up your own custom image. You can change the number of columns and rows. You can either select individual control points or you can select multiple control points. You can shift them left and right and you can also rotate them. You can add a sequence of warps by clicking add layer, moving one of the layers and changing the items on the grid. You can press play to see your sequence. You can also scrub. This might help you if you've got to tweak the animation slightly. Also, the code has been generated for you. So you can copy this code and paste it directly into a new sprite kit game. The whole point of the app was to generate this array of float twos. That might have been a bit quick. Let's just repeat that forever. This green icon here tells you when your timeline's valid. If you have a warp player that intersects another warp player, it isn't valid. There's also a really cool button here called Physics. I put this in just for fun. Things go a little bit crazy here. But if you load up something with less control points, and press it, you get a really nice gloopy animation. Thanks for watching.